up, little shy, big eye peepers. It's your girl, little shy, big eyes. Um, so I hope you guys like the, the videos that I've been dropping. For those of you who really fuck with me, like I know there are a, a lot of people who are into the skin lightening thing and that's why they all jumped on. But there are a few of you who are really invested in like just me. <laughs> <laughs> for whatever reason you tune in and this is for you. So um, I Did the um, derma rolling yesterday. I don't know if you can see it, but I definitely see it So you see how now my face it used to ha I used to have I don't want to Create it again. The labial folds were a little bit more pronounced and now you can see as my skin is starting to heal from the micro needling it's less pronounced. So, ladies, if this is something that you are dealing with, you're a little older, you're up there in age, and you are trying to, like, <laughs> you know what I mean, fight the hands of time, like, bitch, 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 bitch. Use a micro needler or a derma roller and micro needle. Anyway, um, Today is Tuesday, August 1st. I am going to make myself a sandwich. Some tuna. Tuna. Remember, way back, like I wanted tuna and I couldn't find any mayonnaise. It was just Miracle Whip. Like, ugh. Who eats Miracle Whip? Drop the comments down below. Anyway, so yeah, I'm about to make this sandwich and I'm just gonna talk to y'all and say hi to Beethoven because he wants a debut. Yeah, I got him caged up. Yep, that's right. Say hi, babe. Whatever. Anyway, so I hope everybody has been doing well. Me, myself, I have really just been focusing on, you know, getting my career um, jump started, my real estate career. Those of you who know I'm an armed guard. <laughs> Um, and I mean, it's work, right? But I really would prefer to be doing what I came here to do, which is sell houses. And the market, you know, it's, it's always, that's one thing that's never gonna go out of style is, or it's not a fad. Everyone needs a place to live, right? Everyone is um, in need of shelter. At some point, you will be, go from being a renter to an owner if you are disciplined, right? And if that's something that you desire. Um, but you were talking about like real estate, that's commercial, that's the store, that's your Sephora, that's your Bergdorf Goodman, that's your Macy's, that's shit, that is your fast food, that is your Popeyes, that is um, your Checkers, that is your Chipotle, that is real estate, all of that is real estate. So. Just understand why um, I'm really looking to transition into that role full time and really do the most good because, um, you know, those of you know, I have dealt with being displaced or being homeless. I understand the importance of having a hot meal and just literally like having a place to use the bathroom. Just imagine waking up in the middle of the night and you have to pee, right? Just, you don't think how blessed you are to just get out of your bed and go use the bathroom. For people who are homeless, it's not that easy. So, um, you know, I, I feel like I went through that for a reason and I'm gonna take that and really make sure that I do the best good. But at the same time, there's so much wealth to be made in real estate. And now, if it was easy, everybody would have it, right? So that should tell you that it, it, it does it does call for um, strategic moves and marketing and having that strong sphere of influence. Check out my waves. <laughs> Your girl feels love. I feel so much love. Um, that's another thing too. I wanted to talk about, you know, just like relationships and because I like I came here, my nose was way <laughs> up in the air, right? And I'm talking to you about relationships because um, I noticed, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but we attract.
attract people and you know they they might be looking good on the outside but they be damaged on the inside ourselves included right we have to take responsibility for what we attract but has anybody ever sat and thought like well, how did i attract that why did i attract that and um are you like in a relationship where you're fighting and striving and working towards something but your partner doesn't support it or it could be i mean are you a teenager and your mom or your dad or your siblings don't support what you want to do like how do you deal with that how do you keep going forward do you keep it all to yourself do you um you know do you fight to get them to see what you see like because that was that was a big thing for me you know, love having people that I love. You know, having people that I love be on board. It's so um, ideal to have, be in a relationship and like, well, it's still new, right? But I can tell, and I'm taking my time this time. Like I'm really taking it slow. I am making sure that I don't repeat any of the same mistakes that I made in my past, i.e like trying to buy somebody's love and affection or trying to be something I'm not to them. Like, oh, I made this kind of money and I'm doing these big things. No, I'm Michelle. I was homeless. I learned a good fucking lesson. I'm not now. I'll never be there again. I'll never live beyond my means and, and subscribe to all these different things without making sure my priorities are in order. And I'll never, ever, ever Put someone else's stuff before mine right just because i want to show them that i'm supporting them and i'm t tearing myself down anyway so yeah you know um i'm in the talking stages with someone and i'm just not jaded not damaged in any way but aware right aware that we all want something from each other, from one another, rather. And the thing is, like, I don't mind, right? It's okay to for you to want something from me, but in me giving that to you is it taking away from the essence of me. Is it taking away from what I need in order to fill, keep my cup full? So those are the things. Those are the things that I have been you know, thinking about and just trying to make sure that I really learned my lesson from the things that I have encountered. Like, if you don't learn from what you go through, like, what's the point? And I really feel like, and I've said this before, if you don't learn from what you experienced, you will find that you go through the same shit. It's a different person, whether they're prettier, taller, shorter, um, light skin, dark skin, no matter who they are, you are going to continue to experience some of the same challenges, i.e. lack of communication, or if it's a, an abusive relationship, or if it's a relationship that um, it's purely physical and there's no spiritual bond. If you don't get in tune with what it really means to like be on that level with someone, you're going to continue to meet phonies and like yeah I've, I've reached this point in my life where i'm ready for you know solid relationships i mean as solid as this tuna <laughs> who, who likes chunk like Ooh, i don't like chunk like by the way i like solid white tuna and that's how i want my relationships moving forward solid like solid and when i say solid i don't mean we're not gonna argue or we're not gonna see, um, we're not gonna disagree. I mean that when we argue, we are gonna take a break and then come back together and figure it out and work through the, um, the differences, right? When I say um, we might um, disagree, but we're gonna talk it out as hard as that conversation might be. I want, to really be able to communicate and bond with somebody. I feel like I found that, but it's still too early. You just never know, right? Um, 
And so, yeah, I want to get your advice. Like, how long? Because right now, I feel like, especially us lesbians, I don't know about everybody in my demographic here. Are you lesbian? Are you heterosexual? Are you bisexual? Does It really doesn't matter. Um, I just feel like, who else? meet someone and like you're enamored by their personality their beauty and so you don't really pay attention to the, the red flags because you're all into like my god <laughs> my god you know what i mean so but like how long do you think it would take or it should take before you get to know a person really well is it three months six months um just hold that thought Like, should you, I mean, and, oh my God, oh my God, okay. Ooh, I got a question for y'all. Would you do a background check on somebody that you are, like, into? Like, that you're gonna, like, you're dating them and they seem so phenomenal. Would you do a background check on them? Like, you know, they've got this people finder stuff and... <laughs> Uh, to find out like if they've got felonies or misdemeanors. I've never done it, but I do recall someone telling me that they have done it to someone and like they found out the business. And so do you think that's intrusive or do you think you have a right to look someone up and find out like what they've done and what their past consists of? Or would you trust that person to tell you whatever they've been through in their own time? I mean, like, there's a fine line, right? But how do you feel about that? Do you think that's appropriate? I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I don't know how I feel about a motherfucker looking my shit up. Like, that. I think that's kind of taking it, like, too far? I don't know, you tell me. Um, In this day and age, though, there's so many fucking crazies. There's so many people doing so much shit. You know what I mean? And so, like, you really you really have to be careful. I have seen... Okay, so wait. I'm supposed to be showing y'all. Tuna, solid core tuna in water. I always get it in the water, not in the oil. And now I got this peppercorn. Um, I like to um, grind my own pepper. I don't know. I think it's like... Fancy. <laughs> but yeah, I like to grind my own pepper. But yeah, I just like, you know, I'm in this stage in my life. I'm getting back on top. Um, accepting where I am. Like, you know, and just focusing on good stuff. And I find that um, because of it, a lot of good things are happening. You know? Um, you said like, I don't know what story in the Bible it is, but he's um, like, don't turn, don't look back, you turn into a pillar of salt. <laughs> Where did I get that from? Anyway, just trying to move forward is what I'm saying, you know, not moving backwards, not, um, not really focusing on what could have been, seeing things for what they are, and also in this in this period of my life where I'm forging new relationships, new friendships, new business relationships, I want to make sure that I am the energy I want to attract. If you get what I'm saying, like a lot of us, we want, oh, she gotta, he gotta have this, and he gotta have that. He can't have no regular job. That motherfucker gotta have bank in the. He gotta have this, but what do you have? Like, what are you bringing to the table? Would you date yourself? And so those are the things that I'd be asking myself. Like, Michelle, would you take yourself out on a date? And some days I'm like, hell the fuck no. Like, I would not date myself. I'm be like, honestly, like, can you guys look in the mirror and see all of the things that you bring to the table? And I'm not talking about physical stuff. I'm talking about your trauma, the way you communicate, the way you um, talk to people. Are you insensitive? Are you sensitive? Do you listen? Those are the things that I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, physical shit, 
material stuff is easy to get. You could be a thief and have a whole bunch of stuff, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, who else washes out their, their cans and bottles before they put them in the, um, in the garbage? I just don't like the smell. They do come, I have like, um, valet garbage or valet trash is what they call it. So literally I put that outside and they'll come and pick it up and take it to the garbage for me. That's so cool. I mean, I do pay quite a bit here, but the amenities, girl, oh my God. Anyway, yeah, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So yeah, um, you know, I wanna, I just wanted to be more present with what I'm manifesting. And like this time, this girl that I'm, dating, I want to get it right. Like, I want to nurture her the right way. I don't want to misrepresent. And who else has done that? Like, me, when I like a person, I'm always, like, even when I don't really got it, like, it ain't tricking if you got it, right? So, like, I'll be honest with you. When I like a person, I am all in my pocket. I have done that, and I've seen, like, the prostitutes have come out to roost, right? Meaning, they don't really care for me, but I'm giving out money. So like, yeah, that's what's up. And I learned like, you're not really getting the girl. You're renting her, right? And so I wanna stop doing that. And that's, a, that's been a character flaw of mine. I can recall when, like, when I was eight years old, oh my God, my dad, I was what you call a latchkey kid, right? And so um, my parents would go to work, me and my sister would go to school and after school, I would have the key and I would, we would both come in and I would get our homework done and, you know, fix us something to eat, you know, just little stuff because we're seven years apart. And, but my friends, friends, right, they'd be outside playing and be like, oh, can y'all come outside? And I'm like, no, we can't come out. And so I would be watching them from the window playing outside. And my father, he used to love these um, lollipops. He used to always like candy. My father had a sweet tooth. And I'll never forget, one day I dropped down a bunch of lollipops for them, right? And, and, and they all came to the door and kept, they came knocking to the door like, oh my god, Michelle, 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 Tita's lollipop didn't have gum in it. Okay. And the, just imagine, um, 12 year old me, all distraught because oh my god, they're not gonna like me because eight, uh, um, one of the eight lollipops I dropped down didn't have gum in it. And I was so distraught and I just wanted them to like me so much, but my dad didn't have any more lollipops. Mind you, I got my ass beat because I dropped all of my father's lollipops <laughs> out the window for them. But like, they didn't appreciate shit. Like, I have, like, and this is the thing for me, like I have been, I really reflected and realized that I've been battling this since I was a little girl, trying to gain approval from these little bitches that I want to be my friends, but they clearly only want what I have or what I have to offer, right? So that stops. I mean, in my friendships, in my loving relationships, that shit stops today. Um, and I realized that about myself. Is there anything else that you, like as you grow, you realize about yourself that you don't really, like it doesn't benefit you and you feel that you get the short end of the stick. And I guess, you know, the universe is like, you, you're you either going to get it or you're gonna keep going through it. And I, I have gone through it quite a bit in my life. Like the last person that I really fell deeply for you know, and it, it's funny because I knew it early. I learned it early. Like this bitch don't, don't. I knew early, and I just I didn't care. I still kept pursuing it, and you can see I'm still here, right? Well, that turned into my real estate career. Is why I really stayed here. But yeah, I came here for a chick, and um, that shit did not benefit me at all. I finally got my Hellman's, my mayonnaise, my mayonnaise. Um, I, I really keep it simple when it comes to my tuna, guys. I don't put a bunch of stuff in it. Just really um, salt, 
pepper. I make sure that the tuna is nice and dry. I squeeze out all of the um, all of the water, and I just mix it up. And that's it. Simple enough. I'm not gonna plate it or anything because I like to have it. I like to eat it cold. But um, I'm gonna enjoy it. This was just a little, you know, cook with me rant because uh, I really want to know. Um, I would love your advice too. Um, this is a person that I'm just now getting to know. And I know like, we all come into each other's lives for a reason, sometimes for a season, but I'm tired of that seasonal love. Like I, I can't, my heart can't take it. Like I want somebody to come and stay. Like I want someone who is going to be there with me laughing and crying. I want someone who's gonna be there to really share um, their thoughts, their feelings, their hopes, and their dreams. Not be intimidated by mine. You know, we can bounce ideas off of each other. Um, and like, don't take advantage of my kindness. And just like, really genuinely be into me. Big eyes and all. Little shy, big eyes and all that. You know what I mean? Um, people think they be finessing you and <laughs> Like, I know when I'm being played. I know when someone is playing me. I know when someone's not interested. You know, we know. So I don't understand why people just, uh, like, be thinking they're getting over or thinking that they, uh, I don't know. I really don't. Like, the last time, like, I literally heard <laughs> the person just saying, like, hell no. You know, and just, just based on how they were treating me. And I, I think it, God was waiting for me to uh, realize that, Michelle, you're worth better than that. You're worth more than that, you know. Um, move forward with your life. Leave that alone. Um, even my daughter told me, like, that, Ma, that girl don't love you. Why would you, you know, don't. But, you know, you have to sometimes... Your head is harder, <laughs> right? And so like, a hard head make a soft ass, that's the, that's the term. And that's basically what happened. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I do know. I keep saying I don't know, but I do know. I didn't listen. I wanted what I wanted, and I got what I got, <laughs> basically. I wanted what I wanted, and I got what I got. So, um, back to the food. I've got my tuna already mixed. Mm. See? Simple, simple. So now I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and let it get cold. I do have sweet relish, but I don't wanna put that in my in my um in my tuna today. I think I'm gonna just leave it plain. And now, I'm going to prepare my veggies. So, anybody else ever like, I live alone, it's just me and the dog. And I swear when I go to the grocery store, I'm always buying too much groceries. So I had these beautiful cucumbers, they spoiled on me. These beautiful tomatoes, they spoiled on me. So right now I just have lettuce, green pepper, red pepper, avocado, and onion. That's, I'm gonna make it do what it do. That's it. This has already been washed, by the way. Are you folks on? On the other side of the tube, saying, ooh, she didn't wash her vegetables. They've been washed already. So, yeah, you know, just, you ever be so uh, hurt that you were afraid you don't want to get, you don't want to encounter the same hurt again? That's, that's really, like, where I'm at now in life. 
I'm watching for everything. But in, in doing that, I feel like I'm missing out on the fun. Beethoven, relax. I'm missing out on the fun part of getting to know a person because I'm just steady waiting for them to show me this ugly side, you know? And like, I don't want to do that. She doesn't, she doesn't deserve to be treated like that because of somebody else that I encountered. But at the same time, if you are not aware of what you have done, have, you know, encountered in the past, you're kind of doomed to repeat it. So. He wants me to let him out, and I'm not. You are staying in there. But, yes sir, that's where you gonna stay. He's staying in there, I'm sorry, because uh, first of all, he needs a bath. And, second of all, he likes to chew up all my cords and stuff, so if he's unattended in the house, and I'm running my mouth to you guys, I can't really watch him. Um, he chewed up the cord to my MacBook, he chewed up my headphones. Yes, I'm talking about you. Yes, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Anyway, so yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. I want to make sure this time around that I'm giving 100% of me and not what's in my pocket. And I'm giving um, the best of me. Right? Not coming with all this baggage or um, turmoil from past relationships. Like nobody deserves what you what you've encountered in your past. Everybody deserves to um, have to meet the best part of you and learn the best part of you. Not saying that you know you should only be able to. Um, show a person, that you shouldn't be able to show a person your trauma and they accept it, but like don't just trauma dump, you know what I mean? And I, I'm not, I've never been that person to carry other bag, carry baggage into a new relationship because of what I've encountered in my old, and so I don't want to do that now, and uh, but again, and there's a thin line because in the midst of trying to make sure that I don't repeat any of those mistakes, it's like I'm, my focus, you know, my focus. Um, and they say what you focus on, you help to bring to fruition. So I'm just being more cognizant of that. Um, you guys, I'm trying to really eat, not trying, I'm making a strong effort to eat healthier, what are some of the things that you guys like to cook for yourself? Something, things that are fast and um, healthy. I, I had purchased a, um, a bullet, but I threw it out. It was just, it was thrown all over the place. And so I said so I would get myself another one, a new one. But I wanna start making smoothies. I'm probably gonna get a juicer. I know I've done, um, I've juiced celery in the mornings before. Oh my God, that should have me going. Tula Banyo! It is really good to cleanse out. I'm really on this real health kick. Um, just loving my body um, inside and out. And just being the, you know, being who I would want to date. Like I would, I would date myself now. Like now, the, the me now, I would date myself. I really would. She got her shit together. She doesn't live beyond her means. Um, she is an entrepreneur. She is always looking for an opportunity to grow in business. And I love that about myself. And I, um, yeah, so I would totally date myself. Um, yeah, she takes chances. She's a survivor. She over, overcame some, some heavy shit. Like, <laughs> if I had to be in the woods, with anyone, I know it, I would be in the woods with myself because I would make sure that I got out of that motherfucker alive. I, I, I know that about me now, so I definitely 
would date myself. How many of you can say that you would date yourself? Like, um, you know, it's like, I'm also learning too, like the, the person I was with, like they were gorgeous, right? But it was just like the content, the conversation is always about what's going on on social media, what celebrity, her man is cheating on her, and oh, this person is doing this, and, but what are we doing? Like, what can we do, you know what I'm saying, for people to watch us? What kind of business moves can we make? So I'm really moving forward, like, pretty is not everything, you know? It's like, what's the context of, of your conversation? After we talk about what position you gonna bend me over in, and I'm gonna bend you over, like what else is there? You know what I mean? Like I crave, and I feel like I have it, relationships where we're talking about, yo, how can we make this money? Let's go wrap this car. You know what I mean? There's something called Rapify. For those of you who own your car, you can wrap your car or put an advertisement on your car, and you can make. $400 a month just from the advertisement on your car, just driving around, depending on where you are in the city, where you live, you can make money like that. So that's what I'm saying. Like people who just are always looking out for opportunities to make money, to, and I'm not talking about laborious money, I'm talking about passive income where you're making money in your sleep, a product, a digital product, um, a course, um, how can we take this knowledge and put it into this? Or that is the kind of energy that I'm looking to bring, you know what I mean? It's like, no more that empty, that empty shit. Like, there's a lot of beautiful women out here who are getting it. Trust me, there's a lot of women out here who are getting it, but there's a lot of women out here who are faking it too. And I guess that's the, that's the frequency that I was resonating on. But like I don't desire to tra attract any more of that. I desire to attract like-minded individuals who are about real generational wealth. Like you can't say you want generational wealth, but then opportunities come and you don't want to do it. Like you don't want generational wealth then. You want to be a worker bee. You want to get up and go to work every day. And that's fine too because there's there are ways to obtain wealth when you use the money that you work for and you invest it, right? There's no way that you're ever, ever going to go to work every day and save that money and become wealthy. That just doesn't exist, right? So um, I'm, I'm all for investing my money, cryptocurrency, um, something called REITs. Y'all research that. REITs are reinvestment um, trusts. These are big real estate companies that you can invest in. Like that's one way for you to invest in real estate. I have a, I have a few shares in a REIT called Cuz C U Z. Look it up. Cuz actually owns the building that my company um, works out of, that EXP Realty works out of, virtually, rather. And so of course it would make more sense, it would make sense for me to buy a few stock, right? And I did. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, um, even doing YouTube and just thinking out of the box, you know, and opening yourself up and seeing how your experiences can help other people. Because I know um, that what I went through will help so many people um, who may be facing the same adversity, right? Or so that they can avoid that adversity. Oh, check me out now in that perfect hat. I love that. Or, you know, people who are facing that adversity now, I know that I'm able to help someone, right? Or me going through that by sharing it, I have enlightened someone and now they don't feel as afraid and they know where to go for resources and things of that nature. That video is coming up, by the way. Um, I just want to make sure that I carefully put that
that together um, because it does, it, you know, it is very important to misleading information. So I want to make sure that, um, you know, I give the right information. But yeah, you know, um, I'm, I'm evolving. I'm loving the life that I'm living now. Sometimes I do, you know, think back on how I could have done stuff differently. How I could have done stuff differently, how I could have responded to certain things. You know, again, um, growth is when you can take responsibility for your behavior in, in a circumstance and see how you play a part in the outcome and not always pointing your fingers at others and blaming others for why, what happens, for what happens in your life. It's, at the end of the day, we are in control. Like, nobody else but us, right? So yeah, just be more, be more, um, be more aware of um, what I'm putting out, what I'm allowing or not allowing moving forward, and learning, you know, the difference between compromising for the better or like compromising myself all, all together. Like I want to make sure that there's a balance because I have been known to be a little stubborn. I'm a Leo, right? That's one of our characteristics. Boy, if you don't stop, cut it out. Now, you gotta see him. He's like jumping up and down, jumping up and down, like a little jelly bean. Oh wait, jelly beans don't jump. Like a kangaroo, he's jumping up and down. It's driving me nuts. I gotta get something to pad the bottom of his cage so that it doesn't, I, I definitely don't want to be disturbing the lady downstairs. So, yeah, you know, just, this is how the salad is coming out. Like it, pretty, pretty. Okay, last thing is the onion. Who likes onions? I love raw onions. I love raw onions. I love, 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 love them. I, I gotta go get some, I have to go get some brioche bread and that's gonna top this off. But yeah, I'll come back, I'll come back to you guys. Um, it's probably going to be a two part. So um, that was really it. I'm gonna put this in the fridge now, and then Beethoven and I are gonna go for a, a slight walk in the neighborhood, in the hood, like that, like that. Mm -mm. And then um, I'm gonna make my sandwich and chill for the rest of the night. Um, I thank you guys for coming and chilling with me. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be more present on this platform. It really helps when you guys um, share your your feelings, you know, your um, your thoughts on everything that I share, everything that I do. I love when you guys interact with me. But like, this is a period of like continued growth for me and building and bonding the right way, right? Not manipulating anyone into liking me, not um, giving false information or false perceptions of who I am. Like, really coming into the, the essence of who I am. I think age does that, where you get tired of encountering, right? Or alienating or whatever it is that you're faced with and you just finally decide to be the true who you are meant to be, who you are. And that's like the best awakening, so. 
I want to take y'all on this journey. Yes, I'm still going to be vain. Yes, I'm still going to be in the skin I'm in. Yes, I'm still going to do skin peels and filler and all types of stuff. Stay tuned because we're going to be traveling. We're going to experience different food. Now that I'm like really have a place and I can put my thoughts together, put things in the, in the right spot, we are going to be doing the most out here in Georgia. You heard and abroad because oh yeah I um I put in for my new passport changed all my you know I was married not anymore so everything is back into my maiden name and I'm just waiting on my passport because I don't know what it is about Scorpios oh my god but yeah she's a Scorpio and so I really want to do something really special and so that means I have a few months to really prepare properly, right? I'm still going to, look, I'm, st I'm always going to be the Leo that I am. I'm always going to dope on the person that I love or the person that I'm into. That's not going to change. But I'm going to take my time doing it. I'm going to make sure that that person genuinely is into me before I start, you know, going all out. And I guess you can never really tell until you do it. And you see how the person responds to you, right? Also, wait, one more thing. One more thing. I know, like, a lot of people like to keep their relationships private. I understand the importance of that, right? Um, but how do you feel about posting your significant other on social media? Because, like, me having these platforms and... You know, that was a, that's a conversation that I'm having now. I don't want to post my significant other on social media moving forward because I don't want my mother's in my business. You know what I mean? I don't want people coming at her or thinking that they have access to her. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want her to think that I'm not proud to be her girl or for her proud that she's my girl I want you know I like to show her off and shit so I know that there's a fine line between that what do you think and drop your comments down below please let me know because I really want to know all right guys so that's it I appreciate y'all for coming and chilling with me and let's go out there and look at this beautiful sunset because it is amazing. Look how beautiful it is. I love it out here. It's so peaceful. This is like beyond my wildest dreams when I envision a place. see this at all. It's so peaceful here. It's so clean and quiet. Anyway, guys, uh, I know I, I let this one go really long. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm in natural light now. You can see the labial folds. They've kind of filled in. Not kind of. They've filled in. And so, yeah, forgive me, my eyes are dirty, oh, Lord. <laughs> I just got some shit in my eye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so that's what it does. Anyway, um, yeah, so I really, you know, um, just moving forward, I want real, genuine people in my circle, you know what I mean? And, I want to be that real genuine individual that can support someone physically, spiritually, financially, just uplift them and moving forward have stronger ties with my family, people who really love me, people who really matter. And so yeah, I'm officially 48 years old and I'm loving life and a large part of me is um, I'm 
looking forward to the future and I'm just don't want to be you know stopped in my tracks because of the past I want to move forward diligently and make those decisions without you know that scarcity and that lack and, and that just goes not just looking to achieve goals that mean you know that's like encountering people and people that I want to bring into my fold you do have to be very careful you know but I, I feel positive about moving forward because I've changed the energy in my perspective I've changed and um, I've come into my self-worth I've let go of things that no longer serve me and I, I stopped trying to push myself and interject and be part of circles that don't want me around. I think that right there is how um, I've been able to transition into this energy that I'm in now. I love it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. All right, guys. I, I'll talk. <laughs> I'll talk the whole night away. Um, you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful, blessed. Um, night. I appreciate all my day ones Ay, and all my new peepers. I love y'all. For those of you who don't know, I'm Little Shy Big Eyes. And if you have reached this far into the video, it's fun here. I, I keep it real and raw. Um, we have ups and we have downs. Our ups are really, really high and our downs are really, really low. But we get through it all together. Um, you can reach out to me. Um, you can email me my email is in the bio or you can leave me a comment below I appreciate all of you who have come and have subscribed turn on your bell um, your notification bell so that when I do post you get notified peace and love y'all